Wednesday, May 5th, and today's freaking... Never mind, we don't say that on this channel. <laughs> it's all because of Fred. You feel bad now? I mean, we could be saying why our day is magical. Like, there's magic in everything. See, hold on. Look, it's even on my door. Today is magical. True facts. Rachel! My favorite Harry Potter book is Chamber of Secrets. As you can see, it's extremely well read. <laughs> It broke a couple times. I tried putting it back together with super glue, but that just kind of made it worse because all um, some of the pages got stuck together and it just got really sticky and I had to get a new copy, which I actually don't have right now. Plus, the movie for Chamber of Secrets is awesome and I hate how in Prisoner of Azkaban they make no more muggle clothes. For some reason, a lot of people tend to dislike the first two books or the first two movies. I really don't understand. I've never understood why people think that. Because without the first two books, hello, you wouldn't have the last four. Last five. <laughs> Ravenclaw? I don't think so. But the weird thing is, I thought I was a Hufflepuff for the longest time, and then I took a sorting hat test, and it told me I was a Ravenclaw, and I was like, I'm not this smart, you guys are lying! But I'm not overloading you guys with challenges or questions or whatever. Um, tell me what Harry Potter house you're in, because I don't know any of yours, really. I don't. <laughs> but yeah, I'm a Hufflepuff. I definitely, I just own too much black and yellow merchandise um, to convert to anything else right now or ever. I pretty much live on Amazon and I bought Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants 2 for 50 cents and then I got Sorcerer's Stone Ultimate Edition for like $15 and normally it's like 25 to 30 so I felt really lucky. And then I got a Butterbeer Cork Necklace which I'm going to put a picture of. So I'm really tempted to make a shirt that says keep off the dirigible plums because the other day I realized that Luna doesn't wear radishes in her ears. She wears dirigible plums. Rachel and Cole, I don't really know how to describe your accents and it's really, it doesn't really make sense because Cole lives in New Jersey and Rachel lives in New York and not the New Jersey and New York that are like right next to each other. At least I don't think. Can we just take a minute to talk about how big the shirt is on me? What? This is much better. And no, I didn't just change my shirt outside. Don't worry. Also, I have a dress in my Luna costume that's like light blue and different kind of fabrics and stuff. And I'm pretty sure that I'm wearing this shirt underneath it, which I'm really excited for just because you know Luna would wear a HBA shirt. She just she would. Hey, so Cole, I got the Order of the Phoenix cassette at Terminus at the same exact booth you got yours at. How did I not see you? My best friend and I got ours for free just by saying how we met because she lived in Virginia and I lived in Pennsylvania and they apparently thought that was entertaining. Somehow, I, I really don't know. It was not that exciting of a story. We basically just went on MySpace. Our means of getting that cassette was nowhere as near as Cole as yours. I mean, we couldn't even duel. Hi, so who are you? I am Luna. Going? Are you taking over my role? Yes, I am. Have your lines memorized? <laughs> I'll get to it. <laughs> <laughs> Luna's accent. Yeah. I know. I'm wearing that out after she comes back. No, you're not. 